Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. It's Monique's Jewels. I did not get my silver video done last night because I fell asleep. <laughs> but hopefully you guys will forgive me and I will start on it now. How's everybody doing? I hope they're all doing well. We're doing great here. Um, the baby was late staying up and I think it just I was just wore out from the weekend so let's get started I have quite a few pieces it took me a while to get this all together so don't forget a thumbs up as you come in the door to watch if you forget just do it on your way out um, I'm gonna have to keep reminding because I've had so many views and my thumbs up number is going down, not up. So if you can remember that, a thumbs up on any video you like, I don't care whose video it is, it helps spread the video to other watchers. Um, it kind of is an algorithm that's kind of like Facebook uses. So the more thumbs up I get, um, the closer we will be getting to 500 and a giveaway quicker. <laughs> So, I'm excited. We're at close to 475, so we're getting there. We are definitely getting there. So, what I've got here is all sterling. It's all been tested. Um, some of the pieces I actually bought at a jewelry store, um, reputable jewelry store here in my city. And the rest come from different people, they come from Shop Goodwill. Um, Shop Goodwill, now you're not going to get more than about four or five pieces at a time. If you do get a big group of sterling like I used to be able to get, you're going to be paying $150. So, I'm not real sure what that's about. The lots on Shop Goodwill are getting smaller and smaller and more measly and more ridiculous as the time goes on and like I said I'm still looking for wearable lots from anybody I've got five left mine are see I didn't sell any so now they're 40 shipped because they were 42 or 43 so all my usable my wearable usable all my wearable lots are 100% wearable jewelry items that do not have any wear and there are no missing stones three of the packages that i made up had three pieces of sterling i have no idea what's left in these five most of them all had sterling in them okay the 30 piece wearable lot is seven necklaces seven bracelets seven pairs of earrings four brooch pendant ring just kind of a you know, variety, and then five vintage pieces, which add which adds up to 30 pieces for 40. So the shipping's about $8 or so. So you're just paying about a dollar a piece. Okay? So if anybody's interested in any of the wearable lots, you can email me. My email is moniquesjewels2, as in number two at gmail.com and if you'd like to purchase any of this sterling use that email plus use a Tom's timestamp and if you use a screenshot a timestamp would help also because I have to go back to the video and go all the way through it to see how much it cost and so it helps with the timestamp I can just put the timestamp in and we're good to go Okay, so let's get started because I have quite a few pieces. I'm going to start with whatever's in front of me. This one here, Sterling. Um, Sterling and CZ. A little popcorn chain here is Sterling. Okay, this is one of those like beating heart um, pendants. Has a little floating heart that every time, yeah, you're... Supposedly every time you move or your heart beats, it kind of flutters. So this has a 
chain on it that is 18 inches, a little longer than 18 inches. And we have these earrings that match. And they're the little flutters also. This is a beautiful set. And flutters. We have the lever back here. Come back here. Um, they are marked on the back. And it says... Nine two five, right there on the back of the lever back, and that's what the back looks like. This little stone in the center is actually kind of um, positioned with the little um, jewelry wire. Is how it um, has that little movement to it. Okay, so this is a three piece set. And I'm up at 25 on it. Okay. Very, very sweet. And the little pendant itself is about a little over a half an inch. It's an inch total with the... No, it's three quarters of an inch total with the top of the pendant, the bell. And the circle is about a quarter of an inch. And the earrings are exactly the same. It's a beautiful set, guys. I'll put it in a real nice box. Okay. Oh, you know, I didn't really say. I'm not going to ask for payment like tomorrow. Tomorrow is um, a, an odd day. Tomorrow is Wednesday. So even though I'll invoice anyone that's wanting anything from here, the payment won't be due till midnight Friday. Okay. So you've got till Friday at midnight to pay. So hopefully that will help some. Because I know how it is to want something and don't get paid till Thursday or Friday. Okay, these are like the Princess Cut Little CZs. And these are sterling backs. And I think these are sterling post. I'm almost positive they have to be. Okay, very pretty. They are approximately... I would say that would be about a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to put this as a set. This pennant is beautiful. It's getting a little bit tarnished. It so is. Um, Nine two five P S E or something like that. But this is sterling with a beautiful princess cut stone. And I'll show you the back. The back can go, you can put the chain through any one of these holes around the edging. So you could set it to where it'd be diamond shaped. It could go through the top here. And it would be like, like, like this. And it would set square. Or it could, yeah, it could sit like that. Or you could put it through both sides. And it'd be like that. So I'm going to put 20 on this three-piece set here. It's very, very pretty. I'll show you these earrings up close. Very nice. Okay. Next, let's get these ones that are up close. These are little Peridot sterling little studs with the um, prong setting. They're kind of, let's see, is this five or six? One, two, three. Yeah, six prongs. Kind of the older style. The green, look how pretty that is. So those are six prong, and um, put it on my finger so you can see. It's kind of the old fashioned looking, almost like a, a bloom, and it kind of sticks out a little bit. 
um, let's put 10 on these. No, let's put eight on these. The Peridot with the Sterling. They just need to be um, cleaned a little bit. Okay. I, I meant tarnish wise. Just um, take a jewelry cloth and very carefully just kind of, or you know, you could use Sterling cleaner, but don't put it on the stone. Like get a Q-tip and just kind of wipe it a tiny bit. Yeah, but you'd want to make sure you wiped it off and didn't get any on the stone. Okay, these are beautiful. These are sterling. These are butterflies that, it looks like mother of pearl, and the picture is a butterfly. Yes, and these are Zara. And it's hard to see. Yes, Z-A-R-A. Yes, Zara, very popular. Um, these are beautiful. Like I said, I'll just show you the front and the back. And they are a beautiful sterling dangle. Um, these are about a quarter of an inch square, maybe a little bigger. Um, I mean, not a quarter of an inch, a half an inch, I'm sorry. These are about a half an inch square and they dangle about an inch. So these are really sweet. Very, very sweet. And I like kind of the bronzy tone of the actual etching of the butterfly. It's like a transfer, it's not an etch. It's, it's a transfer and it's kind of a shine transfer over the top. I think you can see it pretty good there. Very, very pretty. So let's do 14 on these. I just think they're spectacular. Then we have some darling little butterflies. That's the back. They are about an inch. They're in great shape. I don't remember a maker mark on these. These are Thailand, I'm pretty sure. Let me check. Nope, it says M95 China. These are really sweet. And the, the French wire, the hooks are um, marked 925. And those are really, really pretty. So we'll do, let's do 10 on these. They're just spectacular. Okay, I have some freshwater pearls. They're real. This sterling needs to be wiped. Some people like the antique look. Um, I'm going to add, this is a real pearl. Oh, God. Um, this is a sterling um, bell. Let's see what it says. It says sterling. It's an older piece. It has a darling um, old fashioned. This is not the same one as I showed the other day with the vintage. Um, it's not the same. The boho one that was in that big group of small necklaces. This is not the same one. This has this here. The old fashioned clasp. This says sterling and cursive. Very tiny. Um, so these two are a set. And you know, um, pearls like your oil, your skin, but they don't like anything else. So they do not like lotion. They do not like perfumes. They don't like oil oil. So if you just kind of take the pearl and just kind of rub it with your hand if you're wearing it as a necklace, do not put any anything around your neck as far as lotion or perfume because it will definitely ruin them. So I've shined them up just by wiping them with my fingers. And this set right here, and these wires are sterling and the sterling backs. I'm going to put 20 on this one. Isn't that cute? Let's see, the actual... 
Yes, this is, um, these were, most of these were 18 inches, the longer solitaires, um, unless it was for a child. And I remember getting um, things from the jewelry store from my parents, like for birthdays that were for children. And they were like a kind of an odd, what, 15 inch, something like that. I got quite a bit to go through, so let's keep moving. I have some beautiful little hoops. They are textured. Textured. I can't even say it. Textured. They're very, very pretty. They're the kind that come up here and just snap. These have not been cleaned. They're in excellent shape. They're lightweight and very, very pretty. So they are a little over an inch, just a tiniest bit. These are beautiful. I don't think there's a maker on this, but it does have um, something on here. But they're definitely sterling, and they do need... that. These could be put in some wash, some... Um, not wash, um, some sterling cleaner. Or you could use a little bit of sterling cleaner and a Q-tip. These are R something... An R and a C, it looks like, or a C in it. I don't know. But these are all, both marked 925 in the center part, which would be right here, right in there. And for my newer watchers and subs, I just, I'm doing this because I want them to understand that everything is tested. Um, I'm not going to sell anything that's sterling that isn't. Anything for sterling that is not sterling. Okay, if that happens and you just ship it back to me and I'll pay for it, pay you back. Okay, these are about an inch. These are perfect for everyday wear. I think I'll put, let's put 14 on these. And they're salt, you know, they're kind of solid. Um, nice weight to them. Very nice. Okay, next, let's do these little solitaires. These are so sweet. These are just some little clear solitaires. Um, I mean, solitaires, what am I thinking? I do not think that these are the right ones. I think I might have sold the wrong pair. Yeah, these are not sterling. Never mind. <laughs> These are not. No. <laughs> I get to mumbling to myself about things, and then people are like, I can't hear what you're saying. Um, yeah, these are sterling. Sometimes maybe you shouldn't hear what it is I'm saying. No, I'm just being funny now. Okay, these are beautiful. These are heavy. These are Mexico. Nine to five Mexico. Because they're so worn back here, you can hardly see. Yeah, Mexico. Because sometimes it's saying tax go. But this is M E X C O. I don't know what happened to the I. Nine to five heavy. Not not heavy for your ears, but just a nice heavy piece of sterling. Um, there's the back, and they twirl. This is almost an inch. These are nice. These have like a little center, and then outside the center is kind of a little puffy, a little puffed up center. Um, these are beautiful. The backs are in fabulous shape. So I'm going to put 20 on these. These are heavy. Heavier than... Um, they're not hollow. Let's just put it that way. But they are not heavy as far as being in your ears. If they're heavy, I'll let you know. Because I know how that is. To get earrings that are just too heavy to wear. But these are nice. Okay. And they sound good. They, they're just... Just beautiful. Okay, I've had these marcasites before. I don't think I've showed those. 
that just that I just showed. These are 925. And these are older. But they're just beautiful. I like the pattern that's on them. Um, the pattern is different. As you can see, a close-up is beautiful of it. Okay. And then that's the back. And, of course, it says 925. Right there. So we've got this. And here's the other one. These remind me of a lip. Almost like a lip shape. But these set on your ears up and down like this. So they're just almost like a leaf. Sorry, I keep dropping stuff. Trying to be dainty and delicate. So this is how they'll be in your ears. These are beautiful. Okay. And even though I've dropped them both, there's no marcasites missing. Um, I think we'll put 16 on these. There probably should be more, but we'll just do 16. Okay, next there are actually three pairs. And that's backwards. There are three pairs of earrings on this little tree. Okay, the first pair is fabulous. It is, they are heavy. They are marked 925 on the back. These are just plain squares. They do not have any writing, but they are a big chunk of sterling. They have the lever back. I mean, they're not lever backs. They're circles. These are like hoops. And then you've got these almost like little charms on the bottom, but they're not little. Okay, there's those. These are fabulous. Now we have some little vintage stars here. Come on, I can't get to see it. I can't get you to see it that way. Hold on. These little vintage stars, sterling. The little bead there, a little green bead, peridot maybe. And this one here. And then, this is excellent. This is so cool. These are the hoops. These are like the French hooks. These are here. And those. Okay. And what we have, these are not have not been cleaned. This is a wine bottle and two glasses. And we have the star and the moon. I just thought these were so fabulous. So I think what I'm going to do, these are so heavy and so pretty. Look at that. I'll show you the backs. We've got the um, 925 there. And then you've got the back of the star right there. And then you've got the back of this. Let me read you what that says. I just thought they were so cool. You guys, these are far-fetched. 925. Uh, I love far-fetched stuff. Yeah. It looks like something they would make. Wow, I bet these are unusual. Okay, for the first pair, the heavy sterling pair is 20. These are pieces you'll have. This is a pair you'll have forever. The stars are 14. And the far-fetched are 22. Aren't those cool? We'll have to look those up later when I have more time. Yeah, I'll do that a little later on. Okay, so next, we have just everyday hoops again. We have sterling backs. They're in excellent shape. I almost think they're hollow. Even though they're squared. It, it, they could just be a lighter gauge wire used. Like a 24 gauge. I, I don't know. Um, I don't think they're hollow. But they're light. Um, this one just needs a little 
Is that crooked? Tell me what you think. Is that crooked? No. I'm losing my mind. Oh, that one shut a little bit tighter, I think, than this one. But it's real easy to, um, there we go. There we go. To get it. See, they're, they're what they call malleable. Mal -able. Malleable. Yeah, I said it. Anyway, so for these everyday hoops, I'm going to put 12 on these. Very pretty. And they're like two inches almost. Very, very nice. Show that little shine up under your hair. And all you have to do with these is just wipe them down. Okay. Now we have... These are precious. These little hoops. Darling, darling, darling. Um, let's see here. What do we have here? They say 925 in the teeniest, tiniest little writing. Right up there on the hoop. The hook. Because that's like a hook. And it comes up from here. And it goes back down. Nice little snap. Make sure this one's snapping. Yep. Nice little snap. These are precious. These are about three quarters of an inch. These could be worn with um, another pair of earrings. If you have two holes in your ears, these are too cute. So let's put 14 on these. These are in um, great shape. They're light, but they're not like paper, paper light. They're in great shape. Very nice, very pretty. Okay, let's take these off of here. I've shown these before. These are a um, lever back. Um, I'm trying to think if these said, yes, what are these? These are 925. I do believe these are a little bit older. And what we've got is this little crystal ring. And it's got like the little mirror backing. And it does have some little wear to it. And I'm thinking to myself, it's they're probably old, like vintage, to where they've been, you know, just some, not very much of that has worn. As you can see, that's the back. But this one does have a little bit of markings right here. But to look at the front of these, they are just beautiful. Let's see if I can, yeah, there. Isn't that pretty? Sorry about my old hands. Um, yeah, I thought they were gorgeous. So I'm going to put, um, let's put 12 on these. I think they're so sweet. Very, very pretty. I think I'm going to have to order some boxes tonight. I don't, I'm running out of the little silver ones. Okay, these two are the end of the earrings. Um, what we've got here are these little cage. They, they look like little filigree teardrop cages or something. They're just really pretty. And I think they do have little... Yes, there are little tiny rhinestones or crystals on these. Come on. Turn around. Very, very sweet. And these are a teardrop shape of about oh, half an inch wide, a little wider, and about an inch. And then with the French hook, you've got another about a quarter of an inch. So those are pretty. That's the back. Oh, don't forget thumbs up, guys. Okay, and then we have, of course, these beautiful little... Um, these are like little Baroque pearls, almost like ring pearls, but they're tiny. Um, and they have sterling silver um, hooks and wire, and they are so pretty. So each set of these are 10, 10 and 10. Okay, set these over to the side. 
Okay, let's do the bracelets really quickly. I'll measure them and we'll talk about them and go on from there. This actually has a J with this beautiful kind of smoky blue, almost like a London topaz color. Um, I'm sure this says 925. Um, it says something. Let me see. I need my loop. Looped. It says. This says Danique. I don't know who that is. I have definitely heard of it before. Okay, so this is Danique. We have a bracelet here. I'll show you close up. A jewel tone. Um, it's like a bevel set, um, bluish, smoky. Seven inches, and with the extender, we can go all the way up to almost seven and three quarters. So I'll show it to you up close. It is a beautiful little piece of, could be smoky quartz, could be a topaz. There is a J on here. I'm not real sure what that is about, but it's really pretty. I'll put it on my arm. That's how it looks. Not pretty. So let's put 12 on this one. Definitely sterling. Next we have this. This is so cool. I've never seen one. This has cat's eye beads. Sterling little um, curl, curl of a um, metal piece going on to um, attach these together. There's a wire that goes through them, I'm sure. You've got pink, brown, green, yellow, orange, pink, white. Oh, that might have been purple. Yellow, turquoise, and blue. This is a longer one, and it needs to be wiped down a bit. I do think it's a, a bit older. This one's a long one, or a big one, which is fabulous. So this one is seven and a half. And just because it's vintage and so unusual, I'm going to put 14 on it. These bracelets probably should be in the 20s as far as pricing, but I'm going to try to do a really nice sale for you guys. Okay, this one is definitely sterling. It says so. It's been tested just like that one. Um, this one is 7 inches. Yes, exactly seven inches. I'll bring it up close to you to see. This thing is spectacular. I'll show you the back. There's that. Isn't that pretty? It's very, very nice. It is like a chain on the sides connecting the hearts. So this one is 20. Okay. Next, we have such darling. These are so sweet. And each one of these say sterling, 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 sterling. And they are black turtles. And they are so cute. Turtles, turtles, turtles. And they are vintage. And you have a clasp. This is an older piece. The clasp goes in. And you hear the clicky? Yes. And I think this says sterling. What's this say? Hold on here. <laughs> it says sterling. That is the name of this bracelet. Sterling. Um, th this is just too cute. I cannot remember why I didn't keep this one. I just, I haven't had it very long. It's probably too way too long for me or something. No, not really. It's not that long. It is right at seven inches. Maybe a little longer. Yep, right at seven, seven and a quarter. So we'll put 20 on this one. It's so cute. Isn't that darling? Very nice. Okay, then we have a... Uh, 
herringbone, sterling, very pretty, just the normal everyday herringbone. And there's the hook, it works fine, it's marked 925 Italy. It is, let's see here, it's a smaller one, it is six and three quarters. And it is going to be, let's put 17 on this one. Just because it's shorter and we're doing fabulous pricing. Okay, this is a little heavier piece. This has a huge lobster. It is 925 and we've got kind of a square and circles. Square and circles. And it kind of it's articulated. It's pretty cool. So I'm trying to figure out which is the front. Yeah, that's the back. So let's see how long. And it is marked 925 Italy. This one is right around seven and a quarter. Yes, right at seven and a quarter. And just because it's a little bit thicker, heavier, I'm gonna put 25 on this one. It's beautiful. Okay, this one is even bigger. This is X's and O's. This has a huge lobster. Very, very nice. Um, it just says 925 and it says something. It says, I don't know what that says. Roma. It's Italian. <laughs> Roma. It's Italiano. Um, yeah. So it's Italian. It's a vintage piece. It is big. Look at the. <laughs> He's huge. This is the actual piece. The clasp part. Very cool. Okay, so let's give it a measure. It is just a little under seven inches. So six and five eighths, almost seven. Right at seven, really, if I think about it. Almost seven. And this one's going to be 28. Um, just so you can see, it just, that's that little spring ring in there. Because um, it does look, it's so thick. It almost looks like stainless, but it's not. It's sterling. So this one's 30. Let's put 30 on this one. Boy. Okay, next we have this beauty. It is a twisted herringbone. It says 925. It says 925 Italy. What's that say? That's tiny. That says 925 Italy, like I said. Dummy. And then it says P R. Don't know. Okay. So this one is very small. This one is a little over six and a half. So if this one doesn't sell, I'll have to keep it. It's a six and a half. Isn't that something? Um, still, we'll we'll do twenty on this one. These are these are pieces that you keep. You know what I mean forever. So we'll do 20 on that one. And then we have a beauty here. It has circles. And they are, um, oh yeah, they're um, articulated as far as movement and they also have different patterns. So you have a pattern here and then you have a flat, just a smooth, sterling and then almost like a plaid and it is approximately 
Let's see here. Seven and a quarter. And it's gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? You know, this could be extended so easy. All you'd have to do is put a little ring here. Um, this is so pretty. Look at that. So let's put 22 on this one. It's just really nice. Look at that. That is big. Okay, so we're almost done with the bracelets. Ooh. Then we have this. It's a bangle. It is sterling. It says so right there. 925 China. These are not stones. These are the little dots of silver that make them look like a shiny stone. Um, so it's not crystal or anything. Um, let's see. Oh. I do them backwards every time. Okay, this is oblong, an oval. Um, it's very easy to put on. Then you've got the safety. This is beautiful. It is probably big enough to fit a seven and a half, because look at all the room I have. And it's a clamper style bangle. Um, <laughs> I'm doing it backwards again. I'm doing it backwards. That's like dyslexic. There we go. So, when we put it like this, it is two and a, a little over two and a half wide, but you don't have to worry about it coming over your hand, so you just wouldn't want it to be too much wider. So I'm thinking seven, seven and a half is about as big. You can see the room I've got for this clamper, and it is 25. There it is. It's nice and sturdy, but you always clamp that on there. You've got your safety clamp, class clamp, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Very nice. I'll set that there. Okay. We're at 42. We're going to have to do half and half. Okay. Let's do some rings. Some of these rings you guys have seen. Some of these rings you have not. This is, I'll do this quick. This is a size seven and a half. Yes. Okay. Seven and a half. A beautiful light yellow. Canary yellow stone with the halo around it. With some stones here. Just a couple little ones. Um, so this is one of the halo rings, like engagement ring, but in yellow. Um, I'm going to put 20 on that one. It's, it's really nice. It's big. This could be used almost for an engagement ring. Isn't that cool? It's very pretty. Okay. Put that one there. Yeah, as soon as we get done with the rings, we'll stop for now. This next one is a beautiful vintage band. It is right at eight inches. It is um, octagonal-like. Maybe even more sides than that. It is not rounded. It has sides to it. Um... There are hearts in the design. Isn't that cool? And I don't think it says anything. Yeah, it does. But I think this is an older piece. It says Sterling MH with arrows. So... There it is. It's very, very pretty. 
So I'm going to put 14 on it just because it's marked. It's really sturdy. Very sturdy piece. Okay. Next. Oh, God. I'm losing my mind. Next, we have a, a coin pearl. A real pearl. It is set in a huge hunk of sterling. It is a size eight and a half. It is a beauty. I'll show you the sterling. Look at that huge piece. Um, it is marked right here. It is marked sterling. Where is it marked? Ch Oh, this is something. Okay, nine two five and something oh six or something. This thing is gorgeous. Um, I put it on so you can see it. Yeah, it is just beautiful. This one is 30. It's just beautiful. And there's the back part. And that's where all the writing is. And I do believe that one's older. Okay. Now, I have a ring I don't really want to sell, but I don't wear it very much. Um, it's... Oh, I hate when I can't focus. Um, come on, come on, come on. Oh, boy. Okay. Hmm. There. Oh, my gosh, this is so tiny. There's a little star. It says 925 and this little teeny tiny, I mean, it's tiny star. That's all I see. But anyway, this is real diamonds. Let me get shut down up close. These are real diamonds. That is sterling. None of them are missing. Probably needs a good clean. Um, just some Dawn. Nothing real abrasive or anything because it really makes... The um, settings will loosen up some with abrasive cleaners. I think these are more bezel set. No, I, well, I see the little dots. I see the dots almost like, um, um, they're like bezel set, but with the dots instead of the lines of metal. So on this one, I'm going to put 40, and it's well worth it because I paid more than that for it at the jewelry store. So... This is a size, come on, this is, a, what is this, right at a seven. And I'll show you the crown. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it's really nice. It's very beautiful. Like I said, I've got too many of, you know, just gold rings that are made of gold. I can't mix, it's hard to mix them. Now, this one, I think, is CZ's. It needs a little cleaning. Um, it's really small. Sometimes people have these rings sized. That's why sometimes you cannot find a maker mark because they've sized it through the mark. There is a mark right there, but I cannot tell. It's just 925. I can't find the maker on it. Um, it is really small. It is five and a half. 
it's really pretty though. It wouldn't surprise me if these were real stones because it's just that pretty, but it needs to be clean. So we'll put 15 on this one. It's really um, a nice shape piece. Just a little bit small. Okay, next we have this little um, emerald cut, probably CZ. It's really pretty though. It's like an engagement ring style. Where'd you go? It is actually size um, six and a half. Let's see if I can get you to stay. It's a six and a half. There we go. And you've got little stones there. They stop about right there. Isn't that pretty? It presents well. It's pretty. It's got little tiny stones that go all the way around. It is prong set. It's just beautiful. Isn't that neat? And it's just a CZ or a piece of glass. I, I'm not sure. It was marked, if I remember right. Um, <laughs> the dogs are barking. Um, let's see here. No, I don't see any writing on this one. Um, let's see here. It's just S925. I don't have anything else on that, but it's really, really nice. So let's put 15 on that one. Very pretty. Go down there. See, we have a, a beautiful black onyx and sterling. All these are sterling. I'll show you the bottom. Okay. Put it on here. This one is. This is a nine. It's in great condition. Very sturdy. Um. It's jingly. So, not pretty. I like it. It is really, um, is that right at a nine? Yeah. It's about eight and three quarters, almost a nine. Because I don't want anybody to get something and it not fit. Um, yeah, this is pretty. So this is a larger ring. So let's put, let's just put 18 on this one. Okay. All right. Now this one's beautiful. It has a little, um, it's like a little cha-cha ring. And it is Thailand 925 and a little cartouche. It's kind of diamond shaped. Let me show it to you real quick. It's a cha cha. Isn't that cute? It's sterling silver. It's just beautiful. It is a size eight, right at an eight, eight and a quarter at the most. Or Let's just say an eight. It's almost eight and a quarter. Let's see if we can get it to, there we go. So these little um, crystals, or they're little bicones, are pink and yellow. Very sweet. So there we go. Cha-cha. Um, let's put 14 on this one. So cute. Okay, next we have a beauty that is so amazingly like very similar to the one I have that I bought. This one, the pink stones actually could be synthetic ruby. Um, the stone itself is a, 
I don't know. It's between a teal and a smoke. So it could be a topaz. It could be a piece of glass. It could be a smoky quartz. Um, but the little pink stones could be synthetic rubies. And they are shaped in like a flower. Just really, really cute. That's the only difference, really, because these are just shaped very similar. And the ones that I've looked up are running about 69 70 bucks for the sterling. Um, of course, I'm not doing that. But let's see. What did this one say? This has a funny diamond shape as a cartouche. And then, of course, it just says 925 on the other side. Um, but it is beautiful. Mine is actually um, ruby and um, coral. The, um, what's it called? The uh, angel skin coral. Almost couldn't think of it. So this one, and I'll show you the color. The color is a little different. I think you can see it pretty well. It's almost a green. It has yellow qualities, but it's almost a green. Yellow, that's yellow, and that's this. So it's like a teal, but it is spectacular when you have it on. Isn't that cool? So I bought it. I thought somebody would love it because I kept telling them, I've got one just like it, except it's, yeah, a little different. So I'm going to put 25 on this one, and the fact that it's big really helps. I'm always looking for things size 10, size, this is 10 and a quarter, exactly. So that one's 25, and there's quite a bit of sterling also in that piece, as you can see. From the side view of it. Okay. Next we have a sweet baby. She is a little butterfly. And she says nothing. She is remaining silent. Well, there's a star. But that doesn't tell me. There's a little cartouche. But that doesn't tell me anything. But, I mean, I've already tested her a long time ago. But she is Sterling Butterfly. I've had a couple of these. I had a big one that I sold. I have this one. And I've got two toe rings, two little butterfly baby rings or toe rings. This one is a size 5. I'm making sure. Yeah. She's pretty. She'd almost be cool for a, a knuckle ring. Let's see. Yeah, she's kind of cool. She's a lot of sterling. Um, so let's put, and she'd be beautiful for a pinky, pinky ring. And she is, let me check again and make sure I got the right size. She is right at five. Yeah, she's right at five inches. I mean, size five. Um, let's do 15 on her. Yeah, she's got a lot of silver. Okay, this one's a little costume ring. It is sterling. It's really, really cute. Um, this one says 925 China FZN. 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 These are cute. This is like a little, like a little princess crown. Isn't that pretty? Little rhinestones all the way around, sterling. It is a size, what is that, a six and a half? Let me see, yep. Yeah. She had to 
through there. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so let's do 12 on her. She's just cuter than a button. Uh, speaking of cuter than a button, we have a bow. I have two of these, as a matter of fact. That's why you might be like, I've seen that before. No, you haven't seen this one. This is not the same one, and I think they're both almost the same size. This is right at seven and a half, and it has little crystals. Not pretty. Yeah, she's darling. She's a sweetie. I love her. Yeah. So she has markings that are Thailand. 925 and another car different cartouche. So this is dark. This is almost stop it. This is almost like tying tying a bow around your finger to remember something. Then you have to remember what it was you were trying to remember. So let's do 15 on her. She's so cute. Don't forget these are all sterling. Okay, this one is like Black Hills Gold, but it is the other company. Um, it says Stir, S-T-E-R. I'm trying to remember. I think it's like Rogers or... Um, man, I can't remember. But there was another company. Let's see if I can get this. If I can get this, I might remember. Hmm. Wow. I don't know what that is. Looks like a W something. But yeah, there was another company that did some different kind of ornate things, kind of like um, the Black Hills Gold. Now, this is beautiful. This has got the um, leaves with the little satin finish and then the grape, the grapes there. Sterling. Old, it says Stir, S-T-E-R. This is a size seven and a quarter. It is really, really sweet. So we have what I think is just faded, but I think those were like probably gold washed, those two. And these are more of a silver tone. No, those were probably the rose. And then that was probably the gold gold. Yeah. This is really pretty. So for the vintageness of it, I haven't seen one before. I've just seen them on different um, online. I'm gonna put 20 on that one. This one is beautiful. It needs cleaned. I have not cleaned it. It's a little thinner. This is a size six and three quarters. It is marcasite and sterling. Oh, wow. It is in need of cleaning. It just says 925 ND. Okay. It's really cool, though. It is so old, the marcasite shine is gone. So all you have is the marcasite and the little line, like the little fraction, not fractures, but the little... Um, mark site markings that you see and then this is like a beveled heart and like I said it has not been cleaned it is really dirty but it's uh, it's not dirty I'm sorry it is tarnished but this is an older piece it's very pretty so let's put 14 on this Okay, next I have a little dainty ring here. 925 with two little rhinestones. Um, this says 
Um, yes, it does. It says something. It says IBBCN925. I'm not sure about that. This is exactly seven and a quarter. And it is really a sweet piece. Look at that. Very, very sweet. Okay, so let's put 12 on that one. Okay, next we have a butterfly. And this one has a little stone. Almost looks purple. Hmm. She has a little stone in her tummy. It is a tiny, tiny toe ring. Sterling. She says, what she say? Come on, wish I could see. She don't say nothing. Mm -mm, she doesn't say anything. I'm gonna set her aside. I have to test her, cause she's not like this one. I know this one is sterling. Nine two five. Here's the other one. This one needs a little bath too. But that's okay. Here's this one. And I'm not even gonna measure them. It doesn't make sense to measure them. But isn't that cute? Now this one says nine two five. And look how little that one is. Very, very sweet. But all the toe rings that I've bought in that are sterling are still expensive. I mean, it sounds ridiculous. But let's put 10 on this one. Okay, I have a clada. A clada. And that's got rhinestones. Oh, this has got a missing rhinestone on the side. Let me show it to you real quick. It's really pretty. It's got a crown. There are three stones that almost look like real diamonds. Don't know. Just don't know. Anyway, this says on the inside, what's it say? It says, 925C, and it is a approximately five and a half, almost five and three quarters, okay? So it's a tiny one. I'll show you what I mean. It's got little stones at the top. It's got the bigger stone in the center. And then here, there's one stone missing there. Just one right there. But otherwise, it looks really good. The sterling's nice and shiny. Um, I think it's cool. So I'll put eight on it. Okay, then we have the um, footprints in the sand. Another toe ring right here. The little footprints are like a little enamel. Um, Mother of Pearl is what they look like. And I'll put it back on this finger to show you the size. It's really cute. Isn't that pretty? And there are the feet. Isn't that darling? So I'm going to put 12 on that just because it's just so sweet. Okay, this one I do believe is 925 also. I've had a couple that had two of them, and it was just very confusing. This one says 925. This is, this is a beauty. This is a bezel set, a sideways bezel set um, eternity ring. It is a size just about seven and a quarter, seven and an eighth, seven and a quarter. Um, let me show it to you. Isn't that beautiful? It's hard to get up close and personal. That is so nice. 
I'll show it to you with this. Isn't that pretty? Now this is this is an antique ring and it's um it was vermeil. So it's um not a white silver, it's kind of a faded gold tone. <laughs> but I love it because I love the stone. Um, but that's this this ring is beautiful. It would be so pretty with a um solitaire. Let's see, do I have one it would look good with? Because you have to have the right size of stone, you know what I mean, in order to um, put them together. Not really. This one's too... Um... Well, I'll put it like this. If you get my drift, you would... Um... These side pieces, you would want them to be as big as um, that, those stones, to match. Or, or close. Okay. So, this one's so pretty. Let's put... Let's put 18 on this. These are hard to find, and they're hard to... They're expensive to buy. Every stone is there. So, it's really, really nice. And it's marked 925. This is an antique... More of an antique ring with the A... Um, it's adjustable it is very pretty I'm not sure what the flower is I do know that it's marked um, it's sterling I think this is bow sterling I've got to check it makes a difference this is, no, I just saw it. Um, almost. Yeah, this is Bow Sterling, B-E-A-U. And like I said, it is adjustable. It's small. That might be a cactus flower. Um... It is right at size six. It won't go much bigger. It'll go smaller to fit like on a um, pinky finger. But this is flattened to where it's not gonna stick out. Um, this is 22, just cause it's bow sterling and it says so right up in there. Okay, hey, we're done. We went through quite a few things. You know if you want anything, all you have to do is email me at moniquesjewels2 at gmail.com. And we will finish the sterling later on, probably tomorrow during the day. And then we'll get back into some more of the boho. And if I don't sell any of those lots, I have uh, five wearable lots still for sale for 40 shipped. Um, if I don't sell those, I'll just start going through them and selling the pieces out of those. Okie doke. All right, you guys. We'll talk to you very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed and stay well.